Before you watch this video please subscribe our channel for make more videos. If you think this video is useful please like, share, subscribe and comment. In this video we are going to see how analog and digital hygrometers works and how to find RH and temperature value using hygrometer with formulas. Types of hygrometers perform an astonishing range of work in homes, offices, manufacturing plants, hospital environments, research labs, drying processes, food production facilities, incubators, greenhouses, museums and textile and paper industries and much more. Basically two types are used. One manual. Two automatic. How automatic works. In automatic we using sensor, digital meter, thermostat, RH and temperature logger devices, when measure the RH and temperature to place the sensor or digital meter in center of department or where you want to measure the RH and temperature and plant fixed it to that place. There are a lot of sensors and digital meters is available in market. Sensor signal is 0 to 10 volt DC or 4 to 20 milliamps. After the signal is sent to PLC controller, the PLC controller are display the values in percentage. Most digital humidity monitors use either a resistive or capacitive sensor. While the electrical properties differ between these two types of sensors, the general principle in how they measure humidity is the same. In both designs, electricity flows through a small, moisture-absorbent material that is exposed to the air. As the saturation level of the material changes, so does its electrical properties. Therefore, the more humidity there is in the air and the more water vapor the material will absorb. How manual works. In manual we are using hygrometers. A hygrometer is weather instrument used to measure the amount of humidity in the atmosphere. Hygro means water, meter means measure. Hygrometers can provide the accurate levels of relative humidity and absolute humidity. Relative humidity is the percentage of humid moisture in the air. Absolute humidity is the actual amount of moisture in the atmosphere. There are two types of hygrometer are in use that is whirling hygrometer and wall mounting hygrometer. The whirling hygrometer also known as a sling psychrometer is made out of two thermometers mounted on a frame which rotates around a handle, so it can be whirled in the air by hand. One thermometer is covered with a tight-fitting muslin sock which is kept wet by preferably with distilled water. This type of thermometer is known as the wet bulb thermometer. The other is the dry bulb thermometer and exposed to the atmosphere directly. Types of hygrometers Ancient hygrometers, hair tension hygrometers, metal paper coil hygrometers, humidity cards, sicrometers, mechanical hygrometers gravimetric hygrometers, electrical hygrometers, manual hygrometers, hygrothermographs, chilled mirror hygrometers, research hygrometers. How psychrometer works. The psychrometer is whirled to let air pass the bulbs which in turn makes water evaporate from the muslin cloth, this in turn cools down the wet bulb temperature. The amount of cooling that occurs dependent on the amount of relative humidity with high relative humidity the wet bulb will cool less than in drier air where the water and the muslin will evaporate faster. The dry bulb indicates the temperature of the air. The wet bulb helps determine the relative humidity. With air less than 100% relative humidity, the wet bulb will display a lower temperature than the dry bulb and is known as wet bulb depression. A special chart is used to convert the wet bulb depression to relative humidity can be determined by correlating the readings with those on a simple slide rule, which is supplied with each instrument. How you using your whirling hygrometer? 1. Fill the reservoir with distilled water. 2. Check that the wick covers the bulb of the wet thermometer fully and is saturated with water. 3. Hold the handle of the hygrometer and whirl it for 20 to 40 seconds. 4. Quickly read the wet thermometer and whirl the hygrometer again. 5. Repeat steps 3 and 4 until consecutive readings are the same. Read the wet and dry thermometers. 
6. Calculate the wet bulb depression, that is, the difference between the dry and wet bulb temperatures. 7. Use the table to find relative humidity, percent RH. There are different type of methods to calculate the RH, relative humidity, and temperature in humidification plants and HVAC system. For using whirling hygrometer or wall mounting hygrometer this formula is mainly used to find the RH value. To note down the dry and wet value in any hygrometer. Formula is, dry minus wet, divided by, dry, multiply with, 300, subtract, with 98. Let's see with example. 98 dry minus 88, wet, equals, 10. 10 divided by 98 equals 0 0.10204081633 0 0.10204081633 multiply by 300 equals 30.61 30.61224489 30 minus 98 equals the final answer is -67.38 in stranded compare with digital and manual device the RH value plus or minus 2.5 value difference will acquired. Formula using to find Fahrenheit to Celsius is 5, divided by, 9, multiply with, dry, subtract, 32. Example. 5 divided by 9 equals 0.555. Dry 98 minus 32 equals 66. 0 0.555 multiple with 66 equals. The final answer is 36.63 Celsius. Formula using to find Celsius to Fahrenheit is 1.8 multiply with Celsius with plus 32. Example 1.8 multiply by 35 equals 63. 63 plus 32 equals 95. The final answer is 95 Fahrenheit, hygrometer's calibration method. Hygrometers must be calibrated at least once a year to ensure they provide the most accurate results possible. Even the best, most expensive hygrometer's accuracy is likely to alter over time. To calibrate, Place your hygrometer in a sealed container alongside a cup of salt water, and place it in a room where the temperature stays relatively constant throughout the day, example. Not by a fireplace or a front door, then leave it to sit for 10 hours. At the end of the 10 hours, the hygrometer should display a relative humidity level of 75%, the standard, if not, you need to adjust the display. Humidity is important for our comfort and our health. Humidity has been linked to sleepiness, lethargy, lack of observations, lower observation skills, and irritability. Humidity also plays a factor in heat stroke and heat exhaustion. As well as affecting people, too much or too little humidity can affect your possessions. Thank you for watching our videos. If you think this video is useful please like, share, Subscribe and comment. If want more information follow our social media sites.